So, it is very interesting to note something. Recently, in a Breitbart article, Peter Thiel, a billionaire tech advisor to future American fear Donald Trump, has stated that California should secede. That's right, Peter Thiel has said that California should secede. And normally I don't read Breitbart because I think that they pander to a white supremacist agenda and frankly are about as fake as Trump accuses CNN of being, and with much, you know, much reason to. But essentially, you know, I don't really like, I just don't like Breitbart. <laughs> But when New York Times, they're taking an uh, uh, interview from the New York Times, then that's when I start to listen a little bit more closely. And so, basically, Peter Thiel sat down with Maureen uh, Dowd, and who asked one simple question, made one simple statement that California should secede. And Peter Thiel, in a confirm or deny interview, said, confirm, I'd be fine with that. I think it would be good for California, good for the rest of the country, and it would help Mr. Trump's re-election campaign. Now, the last part of that is obviously very off the cuff, but what essentially Peter Thiel is doing, and definitely is quite shocking and surprising, is openly admitting that California would be better off independent, that the United States would be better off independent. See, this is a guy that's a pretty close friend and advisor to Donald Trump. And the very fact that this man is openly stating that California should be independent really says something. You know, obviously he's saying it for his own political agenda. He thinks this will probably be good in the long run. And if he, you know, and this is something that's been debated in the Cal exit movement in organizations throughout it for the last few months and it you know whether you believe that or not is not a really a relevancy what's relevant here is the fact that this man has openly gone on the record to say that California should secede so that's a bold statement from a man who pretty much built who literally built his fortune who's built his very career off of the tech industry, which, let's be honest, is mainly based in California, in the Silicon Valley. Most of California's, uh, most of uh, America's defense is based in California. And even so much that, you know, one quarter of the agriculture is based in California. So, this is a man who's you know, very nature, his very own interests are in this, this sub-nation, this nation, frankly, under an occupation, he's essentially outright stating California would be better off and we'd be better off without them. So, no, it's his own way. He also is directly, indirectly insulting Californians and saying, it's like, we don't need you, you don't need us, let's part ways. And in most cases, I would not agree with somebody like Mr. Thiel. I would not agree with Donald Trump. I would not agree with most conservatives. In this case, I actually have to give it up to him. For a man that blindly follows, you know, a blowhard like Donald Trump, pretty bold statement right there. So... In, it's very interesting to note whether or not he'll be able to influence um, Mr. Trump, if he'll be able to influence members of Congress and even influence other states. But this right here, this statement made by this man, is very interesting to note. And I think it'll be very interesting to continue to watch as it grows off for the, in the next few months, even a couple more years. It will also be very interesting to see how this also influences and continues to push momentum for the Cal Exit movement. I love your purple sunset, love your skies of azure blue. I love you, California. I just can't help loving you. 